WBC Bell and going nowhere. I told him before that I would baptize him. This time around, it's a totally different story. He would not get up. In camp, I like to be happy. I, I, I like, I like, I like a, a happy team around me. I like positive energy around me. I like positive thinking, positive speaking. And when you combine all those things together, you get positive results. You know, no negativity shall enter my circle. And when it's like that, you know, I get the most out of my training, and uh, and I understand uh, much more the preparation for the fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled with the hook. Yeah, that, that hook is the way you're turning on it. That's, uh, that's, that's really, really good stuff. He fought in late November, and we're right back in camp at the end of December. So uh, it, was, it was a perfect thing because day one of camp, it felt like week three of camp. There was no real beginning of camp. He, he came to camp already well into motion. The week one sparring guys were like, this is not week one work. This, uh, you didn't tell us he was, he was where he is now, but he, he's been that way the whole camp. Let's try this one, because that one was looking good. Go here and roll it over. Okay, back to, yeah, there you go. It allows me to, you know, have a little bit more rest because we're so ahead of schedule. You know, we don't want to overdo it. You don't want to burn yourself, but I definitely don't want to burn myself out, my body aches every day. Before I came here, I was in my hyperbaric chamber, you know, just get my body right because of yesterday's session was so, so tough, you know. But uh, at this point in time, I know what I'm doing. I know every, everything I need to do and what I should be doing, and I'm doing everything, everything right. All right, here. And then just come right with this thing. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. We definitely learned from watching the first fight and being, you know, part of the first fight and all the things leading up to it. He knows what Fury brings to the table. Uh, the worst thing we could have done is try to reinvent the wheel, uh, like under the assumption that somehow we uh, didn't didn't win or didn't. But we we thought we did win, so we're not looking to to change everything up. We're just looking to do what we do better. That's the one that's going to do it. He rolls and runs him into that. It's over. The first Fury fight, uh, I broke my hand, so I had only had one hand. The right hand was, uh, it was very off in camp. I didn't want to throw it to to injure it even more. I, I felt like if if I reserved it and throw it in the fight, then if I broke it in the fight, then I'm getting paid. You know, I told him before that I would baptize him. And anybody know anything about a baptize, you know, you, you, you get lifted back up. God lift you back up <laughs> out the waters, but this time around, it's, it's, it's a totally different story. He would not get up this time around. That's it. See him. Visualize him. Use those things. Good, D. Keep working up and down. Keep changing your height. I love throwing a lead right. I love the lead right. It's not always as easy to do as people think. Well, just go out there and hit him. You're in there with live resisting opposition. So it's, it's not so easy to do. You have to you have to get things set up from a, from a timing standpoint, and that's really where Deontay has, has come so far. I don't want to box no more. I just want to go home and think about myself. I do say that I feel supremely confident that Deontay will get the victory, and he will do so in, in a very, very spectacular fashion. I predict that he uh, knocks him out cold this time and dramatic fashion. <laughs> My WBC belt ain't going nowhere. You're the best brain I ever known. There's no one else. You better leave me alone. He's talking no, about no, you. No, no, no way. There's no, 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 no way. Ready? Get! Push, 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 push for him. There you go. There you go. Be smooth with it. Get! 
he's a strength and conditioning uh, with Joey Scott, and that's uh, been very beneficial to him from a strength and a, a agility standpoint. Joey's very good, and Joey's here for the boxing workouts as well. So that's good because he can see what we're doing, and he knows how to go for strength and conditioning. Do they need to do a little more or a little less based on how we do here? Wake up. Wake up, yes. Oh, I'm still sleeping. His power is natural. That's natural. You cannot teach that. The only thing that we can do is help him enhance it and maintain it. It's on Jay, his corner man, to make sure he's throwing it the right way. You know, it's on me to make sure his condition and his agility is okay. He's, you know, he's centered in the ring. He's move. He's moving lateral, back and forth. Is efficient. Triple jab. Hook. Right. Get. Come on. All the way. 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 Good job. You're always trying to peak at the right time. You want to be better on fight night than you would have been the night before or the night after. And that's a moving target. That's a difficult thing to do. But I feel good about where we are, and I think that it's better to be a little bit ahead, certainly, than it is to be behind. But we're a little bit ahead, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to get it just right. I'm an athlete. I've been doing this all my life, you know. I'm a true athlete.